Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy and I'm so excited you're here today. If you are in the America, the America, happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and are just enjoying life in general. But today we're gonna do a look using the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. I know a lot of people, they kind of look past the whole Thanksgiving aspect of it, unfortunately, and look into Black Friday. I myself am guilty of this sometimes. I'm thinking about deals and stuff that are coming out there. So during this tutorial, I'm going to be listing some things I'm thankful for as well. So to not forget the spirit of the holiday but I know people are thinking about what to buy what deals are out there what to get what to get for gifts so that being said I know this is one of the hot ticket items for a holiday release in terms of the makeup community and I did want to do a review of it and I figured what better day to do it than today so without any more jabbering this is what the palette itself looks like very pretty um, I did an unboxing of it and I really really liked it that's what the inside of the palette looks like it is very different from the variation shades that were given in the original gingerbread palette from last season so I think there's a lot of potential here and I think even if you own the other one which I do it's not necessarily um, something that you wouldn't still want to pick up so without further ado let's jump into it and see how it actually works because in the pan it's gorgeous but that all could change when I put it on my eyeballs and decide I hate it so uh, without further ado let's jump on in so the first thing I'm going to go in with is the cinnamon which uh, that's a weird name in my opinion but I'm just gonna look past that it's this one right here and it's like a nice kind of toasted light brown um, almost a neutral blending shade but a little bit darker than what I would normally use for that so I am just gonna take a nice fluffy blending brush and put that all over my eyeballs and then uh, we'll go on from there. I did mention that I wanted to give some things that I am thankful for this year. I'm probably going to make Nikki do the same because I think it's a good exercise to do when so often we do forget the whole aspect of this holiday is not the awesome deals that we're going to start getting at 4 p.m. if we line up at Walmart. It is to be thankful and to appreciate everything that we already have and the blessings that we have been given. So just to start off, I'm going to say I'm really, really thankful for my family. I know everybody says that, but I genuinely am. I I was living in Wilmington last year. A lot of stuff went down. We actually had to evacuate because of a hurricane and then we lost our apartment because of mold damage. My family was, you know, without hesitation willing to let us come and move back in. I moved in with my family, Nikki moved in with his family, and um, they've been very great and they've taken good care of us for now over a year. We're in the process of trying to buy a house and trying to save to buy a house, so my dad's really not rushing me to like leave, which is a really nice thing. It's very nice to be able to have like a safety nest to come home to and a support system that is encouraging us to pursue our dreams with the YouTube page and to work and save for what we want and not have to worry about like, you know, paying rent or doing anything crazy like that right now. So I really appreciate them and I love them very, very much. Nikki, you want to say anything? I'm also thankful for my family, obviously. It's been really nice of them to let me stay in their house rent free. And uh, yeah, I'm also thankful for the puppy and for you because you guys have been there for me all the time. Well, not the puppy, the puppy sucks, but You've been there for me. And literally, she just left the room. As he said that, she's like, the puppy's been for me the whole time, and she just, like, left. Like, and there's nobody else here, so she just left. Yeah, she's awful. But I love her, and I'm thankful for her. But I'm also thankful for you, because you've also been there for me forever and, and always. Okay, so I did go ahead and do just a nice little base with that cinnamon. Oh, I lied. That's not even cinnamon. That one was butterscotch. Cinnamon's the one under it, uh, which is like a pinky shade. So uh, we use butterscotch there. Uh, I'm going to go in with uh, Plenty of Dough, which is uh, the lightest, not the lightest, it's the second lightest shade in the palette. There's a white shade, and this is like an off-white cream shade. We're going to use that, and I'm just going to go like under my brow line and kind of blend in this butterscotch color that we've used. So second thing that I am thankful for is, I mean, I guess Nikki just kind of touched on it, but I'm actually really thankful for not only our relationship, because our relationship is now almost 10 years old. We started dating in uh, 26, no, 2012. Yeah. 2012, yeah. I'm trying to remember when I graduated from high school and I was thinking it wasn't that long ago, but it was. Yeah, oh, it was two weeks after yeah. my birthday. That's yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 428. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 428. Yeah. That's right. I remember when we got engaged because it was Halloween. Yeah, that's a better day to remember. <laughs> but we've been together a very long time. Yeah. We've, I mean, we've always had a really good relationship. We've had ups and downs, of course, but we've always been really solid and really good together. But honestly, this year, us coming here, us figuring everything out, like we've, we're really in like the best place our relationship's ever been in. Um, and like, don't get me wrong, we still have issues and like everybody's gonna have issues. But like overall, like 
we're we're best friends primarily and and partners in pretty much everything we do and that's a really special thing i think a lot of people wait a really long time to find what we found at a really young age and i'm very thankful for that as well your turn again i did not prepare nikki for this at all so i'm just like hey what are you thankful for go <laughs> uh i'm thankful for indoor plumbing and air conditioning thank you whoever invented that that has changed my life truly I'm thankful for the friends and the friends that I've met over this past year. Definitely has been an interesting ride over the past year, but I've met a lot of good new people that are very supportive of what we're doing right now. And yeah, I agree with I'm that. very, very appreciative of that. I agree with that totally. Okay, so blended it in, and now we're going to go in with, um, I think I'm going to do Midnight Snack. It's kind of like a, no, sorry, I keep reading the wrong ones because they're like above it. Cookie Call, that's the one. Um, it's like a brownie dark purple. I think I'm going to use that for the outer corner shade because I think it's going to match the top that I'm wearing really nicely, so we're going to go in with that. The biggest thing I really want to say that I'm thankful for, because there's a lot that I'm thankful for. I could list a lot of stuff and go on all day. But the last thing that I'm really, really thankful for is this page. And that is, it sounds stupid, but it's not. It's like genuine as can be. It's not gimmicky at all. I'm, I'm meaning this from the bottom of my heart. This page in a lot of ways really saved Nikki and I like as artists. And that's, you guys can be like artists, roll your eyes. But we both studied this. We, I studied, you know, acting and, and I always wanted to be in front of the camera and being able to do something where I can create my own content and make my own rules along the way is really important for me um, and the industry is very um, unforgiving in a lot of ways and I didn't want to I don't like negativity I really try hard not to be negative on this channel I don't want to immerse myself in, in something that's going to be constantly critical of me and, and things like that so I really wanted to be able to kind of make my own narrative and Nikki feels the same way he studied film he studied theater we both always knew we wanted to be somehow in the, the entertainment industry finding this avenue being able to create our own film schedules, create our own content, come up with the the way we create our own image and, and all of that has been really, really rewarding for us. I mean, it's been, it's been stressful too, don't get me wrong. Nikki's like basically working two full-time jobs right now, his regular job trying to make money and then as an editor and as a videographer and, you know, we're both putting in a ton of time and a ton of money and, and, you know, it's stressful and it's, but it's so rewarding at the same time. Like I can't explain the absolute like sense of like, this is what we should be doing right now that I feel. And I haven't felt like that at all. Like the last time I really felt like that was when I was in college because I was a great student and I knew how to be a good student. And then suddenly I graduated from college and I was like, what's next? Like all along I was like, okay, so my job is to be a student until I'm not a student anymore. And then after that, it was just like, all right, and then you're just gonna figure it out, but then you don't, you know, you don't figure it out right away. You kind of take some time to, to find who you are and what you wanna do and what the best avenue is. And who knows what this is going to be ultimately, who knows if it's even gonna be worthwhile, but we both feel like this is what we wanna do with our lives. We wanna make good content for you guys. We wanna have fun, creative ideas and be able to film them and, and give them to you guys in a way that is gonna entertain you while allowing us to be creative and allowing us to have fun and allowing us to kind of show off our personalities and, and all that as well. So really from the bottom of my heart, for everybody who has supported this page, who has subscribed, who has liked our videos, who has watched our videos, who has, you know, even disliked our videos, I don't really care. Just if you have taken the time to watch what we've been able to create here for you, I, from the bottom of my heart, really thank you. It means the world to us. And I, that's not an exaggeration, like at all. That's like genuine. I literally, as subs counts go up, I'm like, oh my God, we got another subscriber. And then if we lose a subscriber, I'm like devastated for a day. So it's like, you guys are like my family. Um, having you here is is really important to me. I'm incredibly thankful for that. And I'm incredibly thankful for all of the support that um, so many wonderful people have shown us so far. Now we're done with the sentimental stuff. Um, I'm going to uh, go in now with an under eye color. I am going to do Hot Tamale, which is like a really pink shade. And I'm gonna do that just on like my under lash line. And I'm actually going to go in with another under eye shade as well. It's going to be a blue one because like I'm just feeling adventurous today. And then I'm going to go and make a nice little cut crease and we're going to do a nice glitter shade and we're going to call it a deck on day. I'm really liking the palette so far. I know we've been really talking about um, the thankful stuff and I've been kind of avoiding like talking about like how the colors are doing. But they've been really color, um, really, they're really colorful. Uh, they've been really um, 
pigmented. They have applied really well. The first two colors really built well on each other, and I'm a big fan of that. I'm trying to blend out some of the harsh lines from that brown shade right now, and um, it's a little bit more challenging than I was hoping it would be, but that's not necessarily this. I'm actually going to go in with Gingerbread gingerbread glam and try and give it a little bit more of a natural like blending appearance rather than just like harsh 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 yeah that helped a good amount actually yeah i'm a big fan of this palette right now actually i um i really like the colors i think for a holiday look you have a lot to work with we have a couple planned things okay so um i went ahead and did the cut crease off camera because you guys have seen me do that quite a few times now so there's no need to waste time doing that i am gonna before i do the glitter shade for it i'm gonna go in with midnight snack which was a very nice shimmery blue shade and i'm gonna put just a touch of that on my under uh lash line my lower lash line all right so this is look pre-glitter now for the glitter shade there's a couple really good options but i want it to stay light on the inner corners or yeah on the inner lid corner thing so we're gonna go in with lick the spoon which is a very nice kind of cream based shimmer it's packing on really nicely i did opt to use a brush uh the last couple times i tried to use my finger with different shades i was not a huge fan of it so i figured my best technique is probably going to be to go in with the brush first see how that works and then if the brush doesn't work then the next time we try the finger technique so that's what it looks like. I like this palette. I'm not gonna lie. I, um, sorry, I'm trying to reach for my mascara and I know I'm far away from the audio when I do this. You know, it's, I mean, it's hit or miss. I have said that in the past, like they've released holiday palettes that I have really truly hated, like with a burning passion hated. Um, this is not one of those though. This is a really pretty uh, palette. It's a lot of workable shades. It's a lot of neutral shades. So you can create a lot of really cool concepts with it. Um, I really like it for the idea of like, Hey, it is, you know, holiday party time. What can I make with this palette? I think you've got a lot of options there. All right, so this is the final look, mascara and all. I really like it. It's a very subtle, nice, like pretty kind of holiday party, subtle look. You could do it a little bit more bold if you wanted to, use some of the darker shades, but I really like the kind of oranges and stuff that were available for me to create this look. Um, again, this is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This is what the eyes look like. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. Yeah. All right. So again, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with friends and family. Um, definitely take advantage of deals when available, but don't let it obscure the meaning of the holiday or don't sacrifice time with them for that. Um, I think, you know, a lot of times the season is often overlooked for what it truly is, which is a time to be thankful for all the blessings that we have. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you want to join a YouTube family that truly cares about you as a viewer, I do. I really love you. Please love me back. Okay, that's weird. Now, I'm just going to make it weirder until you subscribe. That's just going to get weirder by the day. All right. Um, and if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the page out quite a bit. As always, I hope you guys stay girly with a dark twist. I forgot my last tagline.